Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to today's softball game featuring the visiting Number eight, Nevaeh Reed. Yeah. Betting eight, the catcher number 17, Skyler Drip. Yeah. Betting cleanup, the second baseman number three, Sarah Ayala. The flex player for the Panthers is the pitcher number 18, Caitlin Rowe. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome your Tabor College Blue Jays. Heading first to the Blue Jays, the center fielder number four, Laura Seven. Heading second, the left fielder number 14, Michaela Garacioli. Heading third, the shortstop number eight, Darcy Gillen. Heading fourth, the first baseman number 42, Cheyenne Washington. Batting fifth, the catcher number 34, Jackie Garcia. Batting sixth, the designated player number 10, Jordan Barron. Batting seventh, the second baseman number 6, Peyton Staley. Batting eighth, the third baseman number 57, Laney Ray Miller. Betting night, the right fielder number 20, Reese Hockey. The flex player for the Blue Jays is number 95, Marissa Carranza. And now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand if you are able and please remove all hats and head coverings for our pregame prayer and please remain standing for the playing of our national anthem. Please pray with me. Dear Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for beautiful weather for our softball game today. Thank you for safe travel for York University. We ask that you keep a watchful eye over all players, coaches, officials, and fans during today's games. And please provide safe travel home for York. In your name we pray. Amen. <laughs>
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hillsboro, Kansas, and the and the Hillsboro Sports Complex, just down the road from the campus of Tabor College. We're here at Blue Jay Field. You're in for a treat today, folks. The Blue Jays are hosting the York University Panthers from up in York, Nebraska, from up in York, Nebraska. The Panthers come into the day with a 6-26 overall record and are 4-12 in the KCAC. The Blue Jays come into this afternoon's meeting with a 12-20 overall record and a 6-10 record in the KCAC. Marissa Carranza is starting out in the circle today. And Brianna Underwood lays down a bunt for the Panthers to get on the base first. Now batting for the Panthers, the right fielder, number six, Paige Chapman. Paige Chapman comes up to bat for the Panthers. Chapman, the sophomore from Madera, California. And the Panthers lead off the game with two runners on base. And already we're going to get a visit from Coach Brewer out to the circle. And I don't believe he's addressing just Marissa Carranza. I think this is, a, this is an infield meeting. It's a little bit early, but also uh, somewhat warranted after giving up two hits on the very first batters of the game. Looks like it's just going to be a pep talk. Um, you know, just making sure Carranza and the other players stay calm. Now batting for the Panthers, the left fielder, number 21, Kennedy Anderson. Kennedy Anderson steps in for the Panthers, the junior from Tule, Utah. And she fells off. Uh, correction, she's out. Now batting the designated player, number 12, Sofia Perez. Sofia Perez digs in for the Panthers, the senior from Madera, California. But it looks at the York roster, they've got a lot of products out of California, and that's, uh, that seems to be a theme in the KCAC, uh, as I talked about here on Saturday. Coach Brewer likes to do a similar thing, uh, except he likes to recruit the California junior colleges quite a bit. Now batting for the Panthers, the third baseman, number 40, Trisha Trice. Patricia Trice digs in for York, the sophomore local product out of Nebraska City, Nebraska, and Peru State. And she's out for the third out of the inning. And we'll be right back. You're watching Blue Jay Softball here on the KCAC Network. Sooner or later, you might need some extra storage space. When that day comes, Fleming's Mini Store All is ready and waiting. Fleming's Mini Store All has five locations and has been serving the Hillsboro and Marion area since 1990. They've got a variety of storage size options and can even handle boats and RVs. To learn more, just visit Fleming'sMiniStoreAll.com or give them a call at 620-382-5550. Fleming's Mini Store All, the solution for your storage problems.
And ladies and gentlemen, we are back here in Hillsboro, Kansas. Laura Savage leads off the top of the inning for the Blue Jays. Savage, the junior from just down the road in Florence. She's a transfer from Mid-America Mid Nazarene University out in Olathe. There's ball number two to Savage. And Savage gets a piece of it. She's going to be safe at first. And that's, uh, that's great there from Laura Savage, the leadoff hit. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 14, Michaela Garacio. Michaela Garacio steps in for the Blue Jays. Garacio, the junior from Manteca, California, and San Joaquin Delta College. It's a uh, junior college out in California. Like I was saying earlier, Coach Brewer really likes to recruit from the California Junior College system. And he takes a he takes a two week trip at the beginning of the summer out to California and Arizona to recruit from the junior colleges and high schools out there, but he gets quite a few junior college products. And Savage will take second. So the count's two and one for Garacio. Caitlin Roberts Rowe is in the circle for the Panthers from Sturgis, South Dakota, and the transfer from Mount Marty University. And Garacio is going to be out at first. Oh, safe. Excuse me. Yeah, if you... So it looks like York's coach, Aaron Alvarez, is going to question that, whether she was safe or out. And we're watching the replay right now. Looks like that was very close. And the umpires are going to confirm that call. Garacio is safe at first. And now we've got two runners on for the Blue Jays. Michaela Garacio on first and Laura Savage on now third. For the Blue Jays, the shortstop, number eight. Darcy Gillen. Darcy Gillen's going to step in for the Blue Jays. Gillen, the shortstop, the senior from Yuba City, California, Sierra College, another one of those California junior colleges. And there's ball one to Gillen. And Garacio takes that opportunity, is a good time to steal second. Now we've got two runners in scoring position for the Blue Jays. Darcy Gillen, arguably the number one power hitter for the Blue Jays. She had an all right day on Saturday, but the um, she had she had a real good day last Thursday at Kansas Christian, hitting three home runs in one game but Gillen's gonna work her magic there and hit a two RBI double 
to give the Blue Jays the 2 0 lead. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the first baseman, number 42, Cheyenne Washington. Cheyenne Washington is up at the plate for the Blue Jays. Washington, the senior from Stockton, California, transfer from San Joaquin Delta College and Chico State University, both out in California. And there you hear that San Joaquin Delta. Again, we've got quite a few ladies from there. Washington behind in the count, 0-2, takes a hack at that one and fells it off. Two runs in already and another runner in scoring position for the Blue Jays. Washington is also another one of those power hitters for the Blue Jays. And she hits it right down the third base line to be thrown out at first. But Gillen's going to take that opportunity to take third. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the catcher, number 34, Jackie Garcia. And Jackie Garcia steps in for the Blue Jays. Garcia, the senior from Sparks, Nevada. Garcia gets a nice piece of it. That's popped out to the shortstop for out number two. Now up for the Blue Jays, the designated player, number 10, Jordan Farron. Jordan Farron, another senior from California. She's from Galt, California. Previously played at Sacramento City College. She's got a batting average of 234 on the season. Farron takes ball one. And Farron is thrown out at first for out number three. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Blue Jay Softball on the KCAC Network. We'll be right back. Hillsboro Ford is your local, family-owned and operated full-service Ford dealer, serving Marion County and the surrounding areas. Come and see us at Hillsboro Ford for all of your automotive needs. Whether it's purchasing a new or used vehicle or visiting our well-trusted service department, our staff is committed to give you a top-notch experience. We service every make and model and can handle all service jobs, including tires. We're at 202 South Main Street in downtown Hillsboro and online at hillsboroughfordks.net. Hillsboro Ford, where service makes the difference. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back here in beautiful Hillsboro, Kansas. It's a bright and sunny day here. Kayla Nolker stepping in for York. Nolker, the senior from Overland Park, Kansas, in the Kansas City area. It's a transfer from North Iowa Area Community College up in Mason City, Iowa. Oh, 
And Noker hits it right down the middle to get on base now to start out the inning number two. The shortstop, number eight, Nevaeh Reed. Nevaeh Reed takes the plate for York. Reed, the sophomore from Coalinga, California. Another one of those California natives for the Panthers. She'll pop it up just over Reese Hefley out in right field to get on base. Panthers now have two on base, Noker and Reed. Now batting for the Panthers, the catcher, number 17, Skyler Grip. Skyler Grip comes to bat for the Panthers. Grip, the senior from Kansas City, Kansas. Grip fouls it off towards right field. Actually, towards the Blue Jay dugout. The count, according to the scoreboard out in center field, is 0-2 for Grip. Grip fouls it off again, and Washington just barely misses snagging that. Man, but you got to applaud a player like that. That's a that's a lot of heart and hustle going out to get the going out to try to get the ball like that. And I'm sitting next to men's basketball head coach Matt Warren, and he surely knows all about that. Diving on the floor to get loose balls. That's nothing new out here. There's now two balls, two strikes to grip. Grip fouls off the pitch from Carranza. She fouls it off and it comes back to hit her. Not very hard, but I would have to imagine that's also not too comfortable. Grip fouls it off again. She's going to make Marissa Carranza work. Carranza threw his seven pitches before Grip stepped into the plate. And she's now on her eighth pitch to Grip. It's already over half of Carranza's pitches have just been to Skyler Grip. Ball is, or the pitch is inside for ball number three to bring up a full count. Panthers already have a, two runners on. And Grip pieces it out past Darcy Gillen to load the bases. And you got to be thinking, this is a dangerous situation for Marissa Carranza and the Blue Jays here. Now batting for the Panthers, the second baseman, number three, Sarah Ayala. Sarah Ayala comes up to bat for York, the junior out of Fresno, California, and Bullard High School. Ayala shows bunt, pulls it back, hits it straight to Carranza. Carranza can't catch it. A runner comes home for York. Now batting for the Panthers, the center fielder, number one, Brianna Underwood. 
We're back to the top of the order for York. And now if you so if you go back and watch that replay, that's man, she just she had a chance and she just just went right out of her glove. There Underwood hits it directly to Michaela Garacio for out number one. A much needed out, I would add, too. Now batting for the Panthers, the right fielder, number six, Paige Chapman. And Chapman will get on, and she'll load the bases once again. Now that, and that was a single right up the middle for Chapman. Number 21, Kennedy back, Anderson. Now we're back to another dangerous situation. Bases loaded, Kenneth... Kennedy Anderson is up to bat for York. Pitch is way inside, but it doesn't matter. She swings anyway. It's encouraging for Carranza. Only one out on the board, and we got bases loaded again. And there's swing and a miss. Actually, it kind of looked foul. Still, it doesn't matter. It's strike number two to Anderson. And they're swinging a miss for strike number three. That is a much-needed strikeout for Marissa Carranza. It's hoping to strand these three runners on base. Designated player number 12, Sofia Perez. And now Sofia Perez comes back up to the plate for York. And that pitch from Carranza is fouled off just over the Blue Jay dugout. And Perez reaches, hits it straight to Cheyenne Washington, but they're gonna call that foul. Perez is lucky, because that would have been out number three and all three Panthers would have been stranded. And Perez pieces it, pieces it out to Reese Hefley. Hefley drops it. And that's really unfortunate. Now batting for the Panthers. The That'll send base, two runners in to score. Trisha Trice. Pitch is inside and downstairs just a little bit for ball number one. Oh, and the, uh, the home plate umpire actually called that a strike. That was a bit surprising because that was way inside.
And Marissa Carranza getting a pep talk from Peyton Staley. And there's out number three to go ahead and end the half of the inning. And that's going to be a relief, but also kind of a bummer as the Blue Jays let two runs cross the plate already. And they're going to have to try to... Hillsboro's TCW team is proud to work for you. Our local service and support teams bring the best for fast and reliable TCW internet right here in Hillsboro. Working closely with residents and business owners, we help find the best solutions for all your needs. You simply can't beat our local customer service, always ensuring a connection to work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted.
And we've got our picture back. Score is four to three here in Hillsboro. We got runners in scoring position. And that is gone from Darcy Gillen. That is huge for Blue Jay softball right there. That is a three-run homer from Darcy Gillen. That is just huge right there. Gillen pieces it over left field. I think she was aiming for that uh, disc golf hole back there by that tree out in left field. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the first baseman, number 42, Cheyenne Washington. Counts even for Cheyenne Washington. Washington pops it up. But it falls foul. And Washington will put the ball in play in left field to get on the center, uh, the catcher, first. Number 34, Jackie Garcia. Jackie Garcia will step in for the Blue Jays. And swing and a miss there from Garcia to kick off her at bat. And there's two strikes to Jackie Garcia now. And that pitch is way upstairs. It's not even on the second floor anymore. That's in the attic. And Cheyenne Washington is going to advance on the wild pitch. And Garcia pieces it out to left field. And that is gone. Absolutely huge for Jackie Garcia. And that is the second Blue Jay home run in the evening, or in the inning, and that was a perfect pitch. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the designated player, number 10, Jordan Barron. And you watch there, she absolutely crushed it to left field. to put the Blue Jays ahead, eight to four. Jordan Farron is up to bat for the Blue Jays. Farron's ahead in the count now, one ball, no strikes. There are two outs, but the Blue Jays lead eight to four. There's a foul ball from Farron to even out the count. Caitlin Roberts-Rowe looking a little bit frustrated in the circle, and I would have to 
imagine that she would be. Has been a frustrating inning for her so far. That pitch is upstairs for ball number two to Jordan Farron. And that pitch is downstairs for ball three. One strike, three balls to Jordan Farron. And Farron just gets a piece of it, but that's straight to the shortstop for out number three. And after the bottom of the second inning, the Blue Jays score six runs to lead eight to four. We'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching Blue Jay Softball here on the KCAC Network. Don't let flashy ads and short-term specials with fine print entice you into hidden charges and slower speeds for your broadband. Work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted. TCW is the only provider that offers Hillsboro the reliability of an underground fiber connection to your home or business. Switch today to experience the best with TCW Fiber Internet. Hillsboro Ford is your local, family-owned and operated full-service Ford dealer, serving Marion County and the surrounding areas. Come and see us at Hillsboro Ford for all of your automotive needs. Whether it's purchasing a new or used vehicle or visiting our well-trusted service department, our staff is committed to give you a top-notch experience. We service every make and model and can handle all service jobs, including tires. We're at 202 South Main Street in downtown Hillsboro and online at hillsboroughfordks.net. Hillsboro Ford, where service makes the difference. And we're back here in Hillsboro after a monster bottom of the second inning for the Blue Jays. Six runs coming in with monster home runs from Darcy Gillen and Jackie Garcia being the catalyst for that. Kayla Nolker up to bat for York. The one and one count so far to the Panthers. And there's a full count to Kayla Nolker. Nolker hits it right down center field, just right past Laura Savage. And she will be safe at second. It looked close from here, but I can assure you it was not very close. Now batting for the Panthers. The shortstop, number eight, Nevaeh Reed. And Nevaeh Reed comes up to bat for the Panthers. She's got a batting, batting average of 211 in the season so far in 29 games for the Panthers. She fouls it off with a strong hit.
There's a pitch from Carranza. And Reed hits it low, just down center field. And Nolker will now batting for the Panthers. head to third, Catcher, and Reed's on Skyler first. Grip. Skyler Grip steps in. Grip hitting 143 on the season. This is just her fourth game. All of our stats today are from the Presto, Presto Sports website and the York University website. That pitch is downstairs. But it's going to be strike two. So one ball, two strikes. Good situation for Cheyenne Washington. And that is very good. Skyler Grip with a swinging strikeout for out number one. Panthers, the second baseman, number three, Sarah Nevaeh. Ayala comes up t to bat. Ayala comes up to bat with a 218 average. And she hits it just over Staley. But Savage will get to it. So Ayala has to stop it first. Now batting for the Panthers, the center fielder, number one, Brianna Underwood. So the Panthers send one run in to score off that single from Ayala. And Underwood hopes to send somebody in to score, but her... Single to left center makes it just that and loads the bases. The right fielder, number six, Paige Chapman. Paige Chapman shows bunt, switches out of it. It is successful. Now batting for the Panthers, number seven, Emma Morphew. Many of you know that the Iton Agency insures churches, Christian schools, and other related ministries. A coverage that is overlooked for most businesses is proper cyber liability. Has your business ever been hacked? Do your employees click on links that they shouldn't? Your business could be shut down and have extreme costs if this happens. Cyber liability can reduce these costs. Give us a call at the Iton Agency to discuss this valuable coverage for your business at 580-227-2553 or find us online at itonagency.com. 
Infinity Fitness is open 24-7 for all of your fitness needs on your schedule. Whether you're looking to improve on basic health knowledge or are looking to power lift or body build, start with Infinity Fitness. We've got the facilities, trainers, and equipment to help you meet your goals. Join the Infinity Fitness family today. Call us at 620-877-0220. Infinity Fitness is located at 115 North Main Street in Hillsboro and online at infinityfitnessks.com. And we're back here in Hillsborough. Sorry about the delay. We're trying to figure out some volume issues on the PA system. Looks like we got it now. And Staley leads off and flies out on the first pitch. Uh, not exactly what she wanted there, I, don't, I would have to think. The third baseman, number 57, Laney Ray Miller. Especially how she had a leadoff double last inning. There's ball one to Laney Ray Miller. There's ball number two to Miller, and that's upstairs. Miller ahead in the count. Two balls, no strikes. Miller gets a piece of it. That's out to center field for a single from Laney Ray Miller. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the right fielder, number 20, Reese Hefley. That'll bring up the Hillsborough native, Reese Hefley. Hefley batting an average of 180 in 50 at-bats. With nine hits, four RBIs, and five runs, and five runs. Hefley is one of eight Kansans on this Blue Jay roster. Mentioned earlier that Brewer likes to get a lot of his players from California. But he doesn't mind still getting players from the area. And that is evident as we have four Marion County natives on the roster, Hefley being one of them. Ball number two to Hefley. And that ball is low and outside. Ball number three to Reese Hefley. Laney Ray Miller advances on a wild pitch. So now we've got a runner in scoring position for the Blue Jays. Hefley gets a nice piece of it, but sends it sailing off in foul territory, and that's actually might have been in fair territory on the field behind us. And Hefley apparently likes that area pretty well because she just did it again. That's okay. We're not going to give her a time limit. Hefley gets a solid piece of it. Singles out to left field. And that's going to be a double, an RBI double, sending Laney Ray Miller in to score. 
And what a game so far for the Blue Jays. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number four, Laura Savage. Laura Savage steps in for the Blue Jays. Another one of those Marion County natives. Savage from Florence, but attending Marion High School just down the road. Savage gets a piece of it, sends it right back to left field for another RBI double. And that is the sweet spot today, ladies and gentlemen. Left field has been very kind to the Blue Jays. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the left fielder, number 14. As yet another run comes in to score. Michaela Garacio digs in for the Blue Jays. And it's going to be scored as a passed ball that will advance Laura Savage. And Garacio doesn't get enough of it. And she gets tagged out. Now batting for the Blue Jays. The shortstop, number eight, Darcy Gillen. Darcy Gillen comes up to the plate with two outs so far. But Laura Savage is in a very good position to score on third. Mentioned earlier, Darcy Gillen is one of the Blue Jays' power hitters. Had a quiet game against friends. But she really showed out in the doubleheader on the road last week at Kansas Christian with three home runs in a single game. And Gillen's going to hit an RBI single to left center. to give the Blue Jays an 11 to five lead. The first baseman, number 42, Cheyenne Washington. Gillen takes second with the stolen base, and she'll take third on a wild pitch. And this is this is going to be a frustrating day for the Panthers battery here. Yet another wild pitch. Washington's going to foul off right behind her. Washington currently one for two today. Looking to get on base and again. And that ball is way high. That's it's not even in the attic anymore. That's on the roof. For ball number three. And Washington just over the right fielder's head to send Darcy Gillen in. 
to score run number 12 for the Blue Jays. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the catcher, number 34, Jackie Garcia. And the RBI doubles just come in. And it looks like, looks like York might be making a change. At least that's what it looks like. But no, Aaron Alvarez is actually going to keep his pitcher in. And... Jackie Garcia steps in for the Blue Jays. And that ball is way high from Roberts Row. Roberts Row comes into today's game with a 9.38 ERA. And I would have to imagine that ERA is just going to skyrocket after today. It's unfortunate, but... Rowe currently at 57 pitches. That pitch is downstairs for ball number three. Jackie Garcia is way ahead of her in the count. Three balls, no strikes. There are two outs, but it's been that way for a little bit. Pitch is downstairs just a little bit, but that is going to be a strike, and I do agree with that call. Was closer to the center. But Garcia takes her base as the very next pitch is going to be outside for ball number four. Now batting for the Blue Jays. You got two Blue Jays on base. Player, number 10, Jordan Barron. Cheyenne Washington on third in scoring position and Garcia on first. Garcia looks like she's ready to run. And for good reason. Because there's another passed ball. And Garcia will take second. And Farron hits in between the gaps. For a two RBI double. Oh my goodness. The Blue Jays are having quite the day out here in Hillsboro. Now batting for the Blue Jays. The second baseman, number six, Peyton Staley. And that, uh... That left field area has been all too kind to the Blue Jays. And actually, those runs from Garcia were unearned, so no RBIs for Garcia. But still quite the day so far and quite the game for Garcia. As if you can remember, earlier in the game, she pieced it out to left field for a two-run homer. And Staley gets an RBI double. And that'll give the Blue Jays a 15 to five advantage. And Caitlin Roberts Rowe is coming out of the game for good this time. 
She has had quite the rough day out there. York is going to bring in number 27, Malia Alvarez, the sophomore from Sanger, California. Now pitching for the Panthers, number 27, Malia Alvarez. Alvarez comes in with a uh, quite a high ERA with 11.58. And Alvarez has the second highest ERA for York. She's got a win-loss record of one win, eight losses. She has the tough task of bringing the Panthers back from this 10-run deficit. Hoping that they don't get run ruled here. Laney Ray Miller will come up to bat. Number 57, Laney Ray Miller. Alvarez hoping just to get out of this inning. That would be huge for her. Pitch is high for ball one. Counts even one and one. And there's ball number two to Miller. Two balls, two strikes for Laney Ray Miller. She's hoping to keep going. But she will be thrown out from third to first. And that'll be out number three. The Blue Jays will take a 10-run lead, 15-5. to five. We'll be right back. You're watching Blue Jays Softball here on the KCAC Network. Hillsboro's TCW team is proud to work for you. Our local service and support teams bring the best for fast and reliable TCW internet right here in Hillsboro. Working closely with residents and business owners, we help find the best solutions for all your needs. You simply can't beat our local customer service, always ensuring a connection to work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted. Welcome back to Hillsboro. Blue Jays just took a 15 to 5 lead. Now 
Now batting for the Panthers, the third baseman, number 40, Trisha Trice. Trisha Trice coming up to bat for the Panthers. And one ball, one strike to Trice. Carranza's sitting at 44 pitches so far. And Trice will get on. Now batting for the Panthers, the first baseman, number 11, Kayla Nolker. So Trice will get on, but Perez will be out at two. Kayla Nolker up at the plate. She's got a batting average of 278 and 54 at bats. She's driven in five runs, 16 hits. Two balls, one strike. And Nolker gets a piece of it, sends it up over Laney Ray Miller's head into left field to get on first. Now batting for the Panthers, the shortstop, number eight, Nevea Reed. So the Panthers now have two runners on. That's Patricia Trice and Kayla Nolker. And now Nevea Reed comes up to bat. Reed's hitting 211 on the season. And she gets straight to Cheyenne Washington for out number two. And Washington tags Noker for out number three. And ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Jays will be right back at bat after three quick outs. You're watching Blue Jay Softball here on the KCAC Network. Sooner or later, you might need some extra storage space. When that day comes, Fleming's Mini Store All is ready and waiting. Fleming's Mini Store All has five locations and has been serving the Hillsboro and Marion area since 1990. They've got a variety of storage size options and can even handle boats and RVs. To learn more, just visit Fleming'sMiniStoreAll.com or give them a call at 620-382-5550. Fleming's Mini Store All, the solution for your storage problems. Don't let flashy ads and short-term specials with fine print entice you into hidden charges and slower speeds for your broadband. Work seamlessly, stream continuously, and game uninterrupted. TCW is the only provider that offers Hillsboro the reliability of an underground fiber connection to your home or business. Switch today to experience the best with TCW Fiber Internet.
Now batting for the Blue Jays, the right fielder. And we are back for the bottom of the fourth inning. Laura Savage. Correction, Reese Hefley will lead off. It was just Laura Savage was in the on deck area. So skip to her. So here's ball one to Reese Hefley. And Hefley is enjoying hitting foul balls off to left, particularly out towards that other softball field behind us. That's the third time she's done it that I've counted so far. And Hefley gets a nice piece of it, but sends it off to center field for out number one. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the center fielder, number four, Laura Savage. And Laura Savage, now Laura Savage steps in for the Blue Jays, not just in the on deck area. And Savage sends it past the second baseman to get on first. On the very first pitch to her. Now batting for the Blue Jays. The left fielder, number 14, Michaela Garacio. Michaela Garacio steps in for the Blue Jays. Garacio one for three so far today. Her fourth time at bat, Garacio shows bunt. And Savage will steal second. And Garacio fouls off just over to the York fan section. And the first meeting between these two programs occurred in 1992. Blue Jays swept those meetings 11-3 and 17-0. Looking to do something similar here. Gracio right to first base, and she's out there. They're going to call that a foul. She had something similar like that earlier in the game. This time she hits it out to the pitcher, and now she's out. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the shortstop, number eight, Darcy Gillen. And Darcy Gillen is in for the Blue Jays now. And Gillen gets it, a great piece of it, and it's just hit to the warning track. Looked like it could have been over, but she gets on for an RBI double. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the first baseman, number 42, Cheyenne Washington. And that, I mean, that was as close as you can get to hitting a home run without hitting one. I mean, it was... It was this close from being just over that fence. You could hear it hit the fence. And now that brings up Cheyenne Washington. 
Washington two for three so far today. And she gets up under that pitch. And Washington will send Darcy Gillen in to score for run number 17 for the Blue Jays. Now batting for the Blue Jays, the catcher, number 34, Jackie Garcia. And Washington got some great air on that pitch to send Darcy Gillen in to score. Give the Blue Jays a 12-run advantage. And today's weather is just perfect for softball compared to Saturday. Saturday we had the wind blowing in at us, so it's going to be hard to hit anything of distance. But today it is it's perfect out there. Pitch is high and outside for ball number two. And Jackie Garcia will be out at first to end the inning. And that was much needed from York to get that last out. Ladies and gentlemen. And we're back here in Hillsborough. Skyler Grip leads off for York. And grip behind in the count after fouling that pitch off. Now she's even. One ball, one strike. Carranza currently sitting at 51 pitches. Carranza's had a good day so far. She did give up that barrage of runs earlier, but now she's doing a pretty good job of holding steady. There's ball two to even out the count to Skyler Grip. Grip gets a piece of it. She hits it right to Staley. Staley throws her out to Cheyenne Washington. And there's out number one. Now batting for the Panthers. Second baseman, number three, Sarah Ayala. And Ayala steps in for York now. Ayala currently hitting 218 on the season and 78 at bats. And she's going to hit right to Staley. Staley's going to throw to Washington. 
It's not going to be in time. And Ayala's going to be on base. It's good news for the Panthers, but... Now batting for the Panthers. The center field I don't think it's a terrible one, situation Underwood. for the Blue Jays. Brianna Underwood comes up to the plate for York. Underwood batting 381. She's got one of the best... One of the best batting averages on the team. She pops it up to Laney Ray Miller out in foul territory. But that doesn't matter. She's still going to be out. Now batting for the Panthers. The right fielder, number six, Paige Chapman. Paige Chapman will step in for York. Chapman hitting 348 on the season so far. In 92 at bats. And she is out at first. And that'll end the half of the inning. You're watching Blue Jay Softball here on the KCAC Network. We'll be right back. Infinity Fitness is open 24-7 for all of your fitness needs on your schedule. Whether you're looking to improve on basic health knowledge or are looking to power lift or body build, start with Infinity Fitness. We've got the facilities, trainers, and equipment to help you meet your goals. Join the Infinity Fitness family today. Call us at 620-877-0220. Infinity Fitness is located at 115 North Main Street in Hillsboro and online at infinityfitnessks.com. Create an estate plan that values what you value. The Biblical Estate Design Service from MB Foundation is a will planning service that brings your faith into the process. Game one in a run rule. Um, your final score is 17 to 5. Marissa Carranza is the winning pitcher for the Blue Jays. And man, that. That third inning, the second and third inning both for the Blue Jays were just huge. Six runs coming in inning number two, seven coming in inning number three, and that was that was about all the Panthers could take. And that has been the best home showing for the Blue Jays here in Hillsborough. And it is, like I said earlier, it is a perfect day for softball here. And I will get you those totals on batting for the Blue Jays. So the Blue Jays got 19 hits, 15 RBIs, 8 doubles, 2 home runs. And that is, man, that's a, that is a huge day for the Blue Jays. And York recorded 16 hits. Three RBIs, one double. Just a just a huge day for the Blue Jays. And our next game will start in approximately 30 minutes here. The Blue Jays will improve to 13 and 20 overall and 7 and 10 in the KCAC. We'll be right back for game number two here shortly. You're watching Blue Jay Softball here on the KCAC Network. I'm your voice of the Blue Jays, Nate Howard. <laughs> 